Hello. So as some of you may know, I have just moved to a new city. Yay. And today I'm going to be sharing the Notion template that, well, I have a Notion template that got me through the move, which I can share as well. But I have a Notion template right now that I'm using to bring structure back into my daily living. I'm going to be sharing that with you today. I'm going to be walking through the features of this template. I'm also going to link it down below in the description box so that you can try it, you can use it and fill it out with your own habits and that good stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to give a little bit of context for why I am making this video. I basically lost my entire routine during the move. As you know, it's uh, stressful uh, getting back into a routine after so long of like sleeping on the couch and not having my stuff because it was in transit um, has been a big struggle of mine lately. With this template, I made it recently, I finished it off recently and I've been using it to track my habits that I want to improve on. I'm not being perfect by any means or anywhere close to it yet but I am noticing that it's motivating me to get back into my habits, get back into a routine, and I'm feeling a lot calmer ever since I've started incorporating those habits into my routine. And it's all thanks to this cute little habit tracker that I made. And so I hope you like it. And if you want to see something similar or my moving hub, which is all probably sneak peek, it's a really fun, it wasn't fun. It was the most fun part of moving was uh, using my moving hub. So anyway, let's get started with the habit tracker walkthrough and then I'll go into some of the functionality of it a bit later into the video. But at first I just wanted to give you a walkthrough of how it works and that's, that's it. Why am I still talking? Okay, so we are now in the Notion habit tracker. I have some instructions quickly to go over. You're going to want to duplicate this into your workspace first. And then there's kind of, after you duplicate it into your workspace, there are basically two ways that you can use this habit tracker. I like a mixture of both depending on how I'm feeling lifestyle wise. So the two ways of using this habit tracker are either through using recurring templates for every day, automatically setting a template to show up at a certain time, or by adding your daily tracker only on the days that you track your habits uh, with the click of a button. And so they're both relatively easy. Obviously one is completely automated and the other is one click manual uh, input but i see situations for both which is why i included the options in case you want to turn off recurring templates and use only the data from the days that you tracked if you are super consistent and your routines are set in stone they're pretty good i would recommend the recurring templates but if not if you're trying to get into habits or you're having troubles with consistency but you still want to make an effort towards tracking and being better about it i would suggest the daily tracker that you can add with a click of a button and then once you turn on your history you see that there's only the days that you've chosen to track there's no empty templates that have just been working in the background while you haven't been tracking so once you have that page you can track your habits by clicking under the click to complete section so this is right here the section is here you can obviously replace these with your own emojis for your habits or no emojis you know simplistic whatever the reason I have these as separate buttons is because I like using synchronized blocks. If I open a new tab, I can show you my personal um, homepage. And basically I have habit tracking here. I have a page to go to the habit tracker, but I also have a synchronized block where I have um, all my habits and I can just fill them out from my homepage. So this, uh, block or several blocks of buttons can help you to select them, synchronize them, and then put them in different pages that you frequently visit so that you don't have to think, oh, I need to visit my habit tracker page every single day in order to complete my tracking. And obviously you can add today's tracker to this list so that um, if you don't already have a page that's recurring or a page available to you, um, you can make one from that synchronized block as well. Now we can move on to the different views in the main database of this template. So today's habits, I wanted to leave this empty. Um, I actually filled it out like three times and then I was like, mm, I should probably just record how this works. 
um, for demonstration purposes. Right here under let's get started, I'll click add today's tracker. There is a confirmation pop-up that shows up whether you've added it or not. And if you haven't, you can go ahead and add it. Once you go into this page, you'll see it. the template takes a bit to load. Um, it does have a couple of buttons and features inside of it. You'll see your t uh, habits here. I have two buttons here. One is to make the tracker full screen, so we'll do that first. And then when you scroll down here, you'll see a morning check-in and a nighttime check-in. So the morning check-in is meant to just start your day off with a little bit of mindfulness. And there are some helpers here because I can't start with a blank slate. When you click get a prompt, there are several affirmations, but also prompts that um, you can, like for example, a kind gesture someone did to me lately was compliment my eyeliner. Not wearing any eyeliner today, but that was random. I didn't, I'm not gonna write that down. So focus affirmations, these are just for me, um, different aspects of focus, like I'm engaged, uh, focus fuels my productivity, I'm determined, and things that get, get me in the mindset really to have a productive day and the things I'm focusing on. There is a nighttime check-in that is serving as less a check-in, but a more of a reflection. You can always rename that in your own template if you'd like. Um, I put what went well and things that I'll work on tomorrow. Not necessarily things that went poorly or that were bad, but things that, you know, either could be improved upon or just looking forward to the next day. But yeah, and then once you're done with this habit tracker, for example, today I was lucky to get eight hours of sleep. I did not work out. Um, I did do deep work earlier and I did read for a second there. Have not had a gallon of water yet, so I won't put that on yet. I doubt I'll get to it. It's been really hard for me lately. Um, but yeah, and then once you are done with that, you can basically go back home, which will take you to the habit tracker template and um, look at your history, for example. So let's go into the view of this week. So far, it is Monday. This is the beginning of the week. And when you look at history, this is the all-time history. So uh, the first view that I'm going to show here is just, in my opinion, the prettier view. So it's the compact view. As you can see, I started this last Friday. I finally finished the template features the way that I liked last Friday. And I've been filling them out little by little. In habit history, it's just the elaborate, uh, the verbose version, if you will, of the history compact. Same columns are shown. It's just that column names are showing up. So yeah, and then all properties, this is a view where if you want to edit your, I mean, you can edit your properties in any view, but I think this view is helpful to see what properties you have active and what's kind of going on here. So let's edit one of the properties just to, for example, the gallon a day for me is um, <laughs> not going so well. So I'm going to change this to, I would start by editing first the actual property and having walk and just saying hopefully there's someone walking here okay perfect so walk edit property okay so this is done you shouldn't have to interfere with the formula property but i'll just show you the formula so that you know kind of what's going on yeah walk did uh automatically update to the new name of the property um but if as you can see here, it's a checkbox. So to number would be, I think, one for it is checked off or zero if it's not checked off. So this is just adding all of the properties, the checkbox properties as numbers to later in the same uh, edit property option, uh, divide by the number of habits you're tracking. I divide by five since I do have five um, habits here, but obviously if you have more or less, you should edit this number so that your progress bar is showing up accurately. And I will bold this because I think I would forget this. Here I have just a text box that's code. I'll turn this to actual just plain text. You can edit the text box and then paste it in the Notion formula. And this last tip is just the habit tracking page that I shared with you had the button or yeah, the button for getting prompts and also the button for getting focused affirmations. So here is where 
those are like housed. It's pretty simple for now. I just wanted it to be a resource that you can quickly grab while you're um, filling out your habits. That has been the habit tracker. One last thing, if you do choose to turn off recurring templates, the way you can do that is here. And then the three dots next to the template and then repeat, just turn this off. Please let me know what other templates you'd like to see. I do plan on sharing my moving template. I can show you a sneak peek of that really quick. It was a huge template to work on for my personal endeavor of moving but I can share this as a cleaner template uh, that's easily editable. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there's, like I said, anything else you'd like to see and I'll be happy to reply and get to that. If you like this video, consider subscribing, giving this video a like, and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. Thanks, bye.